In this video, we will discuss graphing lines in standard form. That's AX plus BY equals C. Or, if you're in a book that uses general form, AX plus BY plus C equals zero. The only difference is one is equal to zero. The other one, the C is moved over and it's equal to C. All right? They, they work the same way. So graph the following line. 3X minus 6Y equals 12. If we look at this, this is in the form, this is in the form AX plus BY equals C, all right? That's the form that we are in here. So since we're in that form, that's standard form, all right? When we're in standard form, we want to use the X and the Y intercepts. So let me say again, AX plus BY equals C. So we need to identify A, B, and C if we want to, all right? We may not use that for this, but identify them. Three is A. B is negative 6 and C is 12, all right? So if you need to identify what A, B, and C are, there they are, all right? So for the x-intercept, the x-intercept, what we're going to do is we let the, look, remember, to find an intercept, let the other variable be 0. So for the x-intercept, if you recall our steps, it's to let y equal 0, and then we want to solve for this number right here. What is, what is this number right here, all right? So let's go figure out what that is, all right? So for the x-intercept, if I let y equal 0, somebody tell me what is negative 6, and if I plug a 0 in here, what is negative 6 times 0? This whole term goes to what? 0. So I'm left with 3x equals 12. So then I divide both sides by 3, and what do I get for x? I get 4, right? x is equal to 4. So for the x-intercept, I get 4 comma 0. For the y-intercept, I want to let the other variable be 0. So let x equal 0. This time, this is 3 times 0, and that term goes to 0. So I'm left with negative 6y equals 12. And I divide both sides by what? Negative 6, and we get y equals what? Negative 2. All right, so now I want to plot these two points. I want to plot my x-intercept to 4, 0. This is my x-axis. So which way is 4? To the right, it's positive. Come out here to 4, 0. There's the x-intercept of 4. For the y-intercept, that's this axis. So it's either up for positive, down for negative. That's the same thing as the little b when we do the other form, right? But here we don't have little b. We're having to find this. Solve for it. So 0, negative 2 is down right here, right? 0, negative 2. Okay, so to graph this line, we want to come back in here and we want to <clears throat> connect these two dots, extend them out, and put arrows on the end of them because that's what you do with lines. They extend out and they have arrows on the end of them. But we had two points. We had the x-intercept and the y-intercept that we plotted, and then we connected the dots, extended out, and put arrows on the end of our lines. So let's look at another example of this. 4x minus 5y equals negative 20, all right? So again, this is in what form? Standard form. So again, we have ax plus by equals c, all right? I'm not going to label a, b, and c. We didn't use them. I just wanted to go over how would you extract a, b, and c if you needed to from that. So again, we want to use the x and y intercepts for the x-intercept, we let y equal 0. So again, this term becomes 0. So it's gone. And we're left with what? 4x equals negative 20. So if we wanted to solve that, we would solve it with negative 20 over 4, right? Which is going to give me negative 5. So again, on the x-axis here, we go which way? Left, 5 units. There is my x-intercept of negative 5. So let me clear this out here so I can go back and find the y-intercept. So to find the y-intercept, I let x equal 0. So this time, this is 0. So that term is gone. And remember, this negative, don't cover it up, right? It goes, it goes with this 5y right here. So now I have negative 5y equals negative 20. So I take negative 20 and I divide that by what? My negative 5, right? If I were to solve that, I would, I would do negative 5 and negative 5, right? So that's what I'm going to do to solve that. So negative 20 over negative 5 is a positive 4. On the y-intercept, that's this one, right? Positive 4 is up 4 units. It's right here. So there's your other point there. And then if we want to graph this, we just connect the two dots, extend out, and put arrows on the end of them, right? So when you're finding intercepts, 
You're dividing by the one. So you're dividing by the one that, that you're looking for. And what I mean is when I found the x-intercept, what did I divide negative 20 by, which is over here? I divided it by the coefficient of x, right? And that's because we left this thing be zero. That term went away and went to zero, right, when we plugged in zero for y. Same thing down here on the y-intercept. If we let x equal zero, then this becomes zero, right? And we're left with this, negative 5y equals negative 20. So then we divide both sides by negative 5, and that ends up getting 4. And again, finding the y-intercept, we're dividing by this coefficient of y. All right, so that's just some little uh, hints to remind you of some shortcuts there. All right, uh, let me get this circle out of the way here. All right. <clears throat> so let's look at another example here of this. Graph 6x plus 7y equals negative 42. Again, this is in standard form. So let's use the x and the y intercepts. So we have ax plus by equals c. All right, I have a little issue going on here. So then if I want to find the x-intercept, I let y equal 0, 0 for, not x, 0 for y. So this thing goes to 0, right? I'm left with 6x equals negative 42. So I'm going to divide negative 42 by what? 6, which is negative 7 on the x-axis. Where's negative 7? Way out here on the end of this, negative 7, right? And now... That's my x-intercept. How do I find my y-intercept? On my y-intercept, I'm going to let x equal 0. Let's come, this is going to now be 0, right? <clears throat> that goes to 0. And I'm left with 7y equals negative 42. So negative 42 over 7. Many of you can do that in your head, but I want to write it down. That's going to be negative 6, right? Negative 6. Where is negative 6 on the y-axis? Well, here's your y-axis. Negative 6 is what? Down 6. And then, again, to graph a line, you just extend through each point, connect them, and then extend out and put arrows on the end of them because you always want arrows on the end of your line. So I hope this helps in graphing lines in standard form. The hands-down best way to do this is to find the x and the y intercepts. All right?